Well, you know, we went into last year without a lot of experience, and uh, we had a lot of young kids that were kind of waiting their turn. And I think mostly it was just being patient and watching the guys grow. And I thought we really started to play well there toward the end of the year. Kind of gave them some confidence going into this year, and you know, hopefully uh, they can carry that confidence into to the fall season. Well, I think obviously the team kind of dictates how you, you approach. I mean, last year, again, I knew going into the year that uh, it was going to be a different year. We had had seven straight years where we had a lot of experience, uh, we had, you know, the talent, and it looked like we were going to be competitive. And, and last year was a year that we needed to be patient with each other and, and uh, you know, not get too upset when things didn't go exactly the way we wanted them to. So I think from year to year, you kind of change uh, in terms of how you treat your team. However, I, you know, every year we, that I've been here, the goal has been to, to win a conference championship to play in the NCAA tournament. And that goal won't change this year. I think that uh, we have the ingredients this year going into the season that it will take to do these things. Well, I think that we play a great uh, Division One schedule. I mean, on the schedule this year, we have uh, teams that are hosting from the Big Ten, from the Big 12, Big East, uh, we have a tournament in Florida. Uh, so the schedule is a schedule that I think is attractive to players. I think the opportunity to prove themselves here against the best competition in the Midwest. And you know, the golf course here lends itself to improvement. We have a great driving range, practice facility. The course is challenging. It really helps a player, I think, improve their game. They see about every shot that they're going to uh, face here on our golf course. Um, and then, you know, the quality education here. I think. Uh, players that come here really enjoy the school, the camaraderie of the team, and the social aspects of Western. Um, there's a lot of you know things that I, I think are, are key to being successful here, and all those things are important to the golf team. I think, you know, just uh, having so many guys coming back. We didn't lose any players. Uh, we have three really solid seniors this year. Two of them are fifth-year seniors. We have some really great uh, young players both coming into the program and also returners. Um, just a really nice combination of the things, like I say, that I think you need to be a, a conference champion. And I'm really looking forward to you know playing the same courses that we did last year with basically the same team with, with a lot different approach. Well, you know, Nate's a state champion. He's a, a fairly local uh, young man from West Central High School in Manchester. And, uh, you know, he has a lot of experience playing junior tournaments. Uh, obviously, his high school record was uh, successful and stellar being a state champ. He's one of the few state champs we've ever had here. Uh, I think, you know, the, uh, his, his growth and his uh, success here will, will be a big factor in how well we do this year. Uh, whether he plays in the top five or not, uh, his pushing uh, to the top, I think, will be important. And Tyler Thorman as well. Well, you know, Tyler's a home, hometown, uh, homegrown boy here, and I've known Tyler for a long, long time. Uh, had a great high school career, and really looking forward to him being on the team. And I think the sky's the limit for Tyler. He had a great summer. Uh, again, you know, the experience factor and just getting their feet wet, both he and Nate, and, and getting into tournaments and getting the experience they need will be a, it'll be a big boost for our team, and it will be it'll determine a lot of our success, I think. I don't know that we're going to see a lot of the same teams in any of our tournaments, which is kind of exciting. We, we start at Nebraska, which is now in the Big Ten. Uh, then the next week we go to the University of Kansas, which is in the Big 12. And then we go to uh, Illinois State, which is in the Missouri Valley Conference. That'll be a great tournament. The University of Illinois will be there. They've been in the top ten, you know, three of the last four years. Then we play at uh, DePaul, which is a Big East school. So we hit four really major conferences there in the first uh, four tournaments of the year. And then we finish at Austin P, which is a really fun tournament for us. They're in the Ohio Valley. We see a whole different group of teams there. Uh, it's, a, it's a schedule I think we can be very competitive in this year. And, uh, you know, hopefully maybe sneak in a win this, this fall. But uh, exciting. We go to a lot of different places. We, the courses are fantastic. And you guys, will, they'll, they'll really enjoy the fall season. Last year was a up and down season. We had a rough fall, um, but we came back strong in the spring. Started playing more as a team and more together. Uh, we won our home tournament last year and gave us some confidence going into conference. So uh, it was a good year, and uh, we should build off of that. Uh, 
Um, we are very deep this year, and we have a really good and talented team, and we should we, we know the course is better this year, so we should be playing a lot better than this tournament. Being a senior captain, uh, both Andrew and I redshirted freshman year, so we know the program very well. It's our fifth year, and I think we're both very excited about it. Um, we had the chance to be leaders last year on the team, but like I said earlier, there was so much going on with trying to gain experience in that building process that I feel this year we can take a much more of a leadership role, you know, make sure the team's bonding and that we're all playing for the team, not as individuals out there. Well, I was um, recruited by quite a few schools and I chose to come to Western because um, of the schedule that coach provides us. He does a great job getting us a very strong schedule and uh, all my experiences with him have been great. Uh, he does a great job of not just coaching all the players but also motivating us and uh, if you look at any successful player at Western there's always been a great deal of improvement and uh, I was actually talking to the Paul coach Betty Kaufman and uh, she decided that she wasn't gonna offer me any scholarship and when I asked her about Mel at Western she said well I don't know a whole lot about him I know that he's a great guy and I know him pretty well but I don't know that much about him she said the one thing I can tell you is all the players at Western have gotten a lot better I think maybe she was talking about Tim Strang but I just I really like the way coach uh, he has a somewhat of a hands-off approach but he's very very motivating